Hi there. Today we're going to talk about the new rich content editor in Canvas. So the rich content editor is actually the thing you interact with anytime you're adding text to Canvas. So it could be a page or an assignment or a discussion or writing out quiz questions. All of those use the rich content editor. So I already have a little module all set up and here is a page that we are going to check out. So I'm going to click and choose edit so that we can look at the content editor. You'll notice right away that the options look different. So first of all, we have the font size, so you can adjust the font size if you need to. The paragraph, the headings, we've talked about using headings before and how that helps students who use screen readers and other tools really separate information into chunks. The standard basic tools of bold, italic, underline. You can add color to the text. You can add background color. And I believe that this one is a superscript. So just remember things like not using color to convey meaning because students with um, sight issues such as being colorblind blind, will have a hard time um, understanding what your color references mean. As we continue over, the next drop down is the alignment. So most people are familiar with that. We have the bulleted and numbered list. We have an indent, so if you want to increase the indents, or if you need to shift the indent from left to right. And that seems kind of standard. You're like, well, that's kind of boring. Wait a minute, where are all the cool things in my life? We're going to click on this kebab here, the three dots that we call the kebab. And look, so many more options. So they've hidden all of the cool options in the kebab. So we have the option to add a hyperlink, so just to a website somewhere, or if you want to add navigation to other places in your course, you can bring up your course, li your course links. So I'm going to add a link to another module or maybe a link to the syllabus or something. I can add those in from here. If I want to add a picture, I can upload an image. So here's where that happens. I can upload and record media from my computer. I can add documents. And the clear formatting really just if you're having, you're just like it doesn't look right, it's acting really funny, you can just kind of clear out all of the formatting. Here's the ability to add a table. So you can define some of those table pieces. And here is the LaTeX tool for those math people who write a lot of math things. Please don't ask me anything more about that um, than that, that there is a math tool. But there it is. And finally, if you press the kebab and then press on the plugin, we get access to more tools such as Films on Demand for those of you looking to integrate some library resources. Or Microsoft 365, you can add in TED-Ed and our YouTube videos. So we have, that's how you get those external resources and tools into your page or other resource that you're building in Canvas. So that's the long and the short of the new rich content editor in Canvas. Go ahead and play with it. Have some fun. Experiment. Don't be afraid to break it. I think that you're going to be fine. Um, you can also check out some of the options like the keyboard shortcuts, uh, the accessibility checker. It will give you a word count, the HTML if you are into just doing raw HTML, or if you need to expand, make your um, the box larger or smaller, you can do that over here on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and save. I think that you'll find that the rich content editor, even though it's different, it is the same in the end, and you're going to be just great. Have a great day.